Greetings and welcome back to Switch to Linux. I just want to take a few minutes here and, and kind of talk about Arch and uh, Arch users, how we install it, and some of the unfortunate elitism that you find behind it. So, of course, I just did a video on Archman. I'm running Arch Labs. There's other great installers, so you have Arco Linux and Endeavor are coming out as well. Now, those distros are starting to gain a little bit more regular support, so it's not necessarily a bad thing when you're running one of those, but you always will find a group of people who just don't understand and say, well, why don't you just go and download regular Arch and follow the guides and do all this kind of stuff? And I'd like to tell you the reason why particularly in this world where we want to see a little bit more Linux adoption. Linux adoption is going to be a good thing for us. It means more people looking at it. It means more people supporting the projects. It means more people testing and reporting bugs. It means that everything is going to get better and better and better. Okay, but when we say this, sometimes we have to recognize that not everybody is a computer hobbyist, okay? I am not a computer hobbyist. While I do like my computers, my computers are not my hobby, they are my job. Okay, in other words, I, am, I have a few different career things going on. I am a web designer and developer. I did most of my web design and development through the Windows operating systems and I switched to Linux when Windows 10 came out and that was a no-go for me. When the background of the system is doing a lot of things that I can't control and I can't turn off and it becomes basically my computer is no longer mine, it belongs to somebody else and they can scan my computer and they can delete files, that is a no-go for me. So no, I will never be running a Windows computer again for anything that doesn't have to be. All right, the other thing that I do is I am an author and I write books. And so in writing books and publishing books and doing audiobooks and doing ebooks and doing graphic design for these, doing marketing -y type stuff, I need a computer that's going to functionally work without me spending a lot of time getting it going. So what I'm saying by all of this is when we are telling people that that's not real Arch, you should run real Arch instead, or maybe, sorry, you should run Gentoo. Why? There's hundreds and hundreds of Linux distributions out there that I can install and have a perfectly fine working functional system in about 20 minutes. Why would I beat my head against a wall for the next 15 hours trying to compile Gentoo, all right? Not that that's bad, but why would I spend the next five or six hours walking through all of the guides, building an Arch from scratch when I can just use one of the simple either installers or basic Arch builds like Manjaro? Because not all of us are computer hobbyists, and if that's you, I am not criticizing you for that at all. We all have different hobbies. We all have different interests. It's just when some people go out and work at their job and then come home and their computer is their hobby, and they want to dig into this, they want to figure all these out, we absolutely need those folks because you're the ones that are fixing the problems. You're the ones with the passion to fix the issues, to put the bug reports out there to find the solutions, to get them into the upstream code to get us things that work. But for the rest of us who don't see computers as our hobby, but instead see computers as our job, what we need is Linux distributions that we can install quickly without fighting with the system so we can have a good working functional system out of the box without spending a lot of time working on it or fixing the system. Because I'm a busy guy and you're a busy guy and us busy guys or girls, I don't want to offend anybody, out there, all 2% of you on my channel, when we are wanting to get something done, we don't have time to fight with the getting the computer running. We have to work on our projects and our various things. So I love the fact that all of these new Arch-based systems are coming out to get us an easy installation of Arch. Now, I personally still run Debian-based things because I don't like my UI changing. I don't always want the newest versions of the applications, but there are a number of you who do. And it's great that we have all of these newer options going back and forth here so we can choose, do we want something that's always rolling or do we want something that's not rolling? 
whatever our options are, it's coming out. But I just wanted to say, if somebody comes in and says, hey, I'm using Arch and you know I've installed it with Archman or Arch Labs, don't criticize somebody because they're using Arch Labs instead of compiling Arch or going through, I should say, going through all of the guides and setting up your Arch manually because some of us, that's not our interest. Some of us, we just need a computer that works. And when Linux gives us a computer that works that we don't have to fight with, that is when the Linux world is gonna get even better. So that's my brief rant. Let me know your thoughts on all this in the comments down below.